Hi. Welcome to the art studio. Thank you. This is where the magic happens. Some of it, And all yeah. the blood, sweat, and tears, <laughs> and screaming, and yes. Yeah, you know, there's screen printing here, there's painting, there's collage. Almost all the techniques I use are going down here. The portraiture is broken down to three to four layers at the most, uh, but mm -hmm. to, you know, but to convey dimension, but also to, to have a real instant impact. So, you know, here's another one that's about environmental responsibility and, and environmental activism. As someone, you know, confronting the viewer like, hey, look at all we have to contend with. Let's get together on this, mm -hmm. solving this problem. I mean, I mean th that's what's striking to me in so many of these portraits is that you're capturing a gaze out of fire, out, out of destruction, out of crisis. And the gaze is steady, and the gaze is confrontation, and the gaze is conveying a kind of courage in the viewer because you're feeling it from the subject. Well, I, you're articulating it better than I ever, <laughs> ever have, so may I borrow that? You know, so my babies are three and seven, and we recently you know, have a home that we want to be our forever home, and I got to think really carefully about what art I wanted on the walls. Mm -hmm. And there are like seven of your pieces. Because <laughs> I wanted them to look up and see these images that, you know, uh, that presage the world to come. And I feel like that's what your art does. And so I'm looking at these, these are on the walls. Oh, like that's I have, so, that's this is great. right at the entrance of going into their, the children's bedroom. Very is I wanted, cool. to, I wanted them to know RBG and I wanted them to know John Lewis. And what they're emerging from is like, is a history. It's like an archive that, that's brought to life. That is struggle and resistance and resilience and a really clear vision, a clear message for, you know, to us now and in the future. It's like the past speaking to us. You know, when you look at the, you know, the, the arc of, of John Lewis's career, he was an, he was an outsider. He um, employed what I call the uh, inside-outside strategy, which uh, is what I do. He, he worked outside the system, but then infiltrated the system and changed incrementally things from within. And you can see how much you know, his, his, his legacy is woven into all of these movements. Same you know, with, with Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and, and now you're somebody like that. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> Quite surreal to me. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the clarity of a lot of your ideas, it is really logical to create something like this of you because there's, um, you know, there's a lot of layers to the story, but to draw people in so that they go, they go deeper and, and see all the layers with, um, you know, with some of the most bold messaging, I think is, I'm, if I can do that, um, then that's going to benefit everyone because I think that you're. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to get really emotional. No, I'm already. Your, um, <laughs> your your ideas are really important for the world, so you might not see the the seeds blossom instantly, but they're but they're planted. So the portrait of you is right here. Oh. <laughs> and See No Stranger, I loved as the book title and as a phrase, our Venn diagrams work, <laughs> you know, like, like you, you know, the, the, yeah. the, there's, a lot, there's a lot of overlap in the Venn diagram. Yeah. So, you know, I love floral patterns because flowers always consciously or subconsciously convey the, the idea of something positive blooming. Um, but then also the angular things that, we all crave a uh, you know a, a strong uh, resolution to things. We you know as as humans we want to make order out of chaos. So there's a little bit of you know that side being indulged. But all of these things are hopefully things that pe draw people in that they process. And there's a, there's a feeling of um, strength and possibility 
in the cumulative result. So we were brought together by an organization called Amplifier Art, yeah. and they amplify social movements. And the movement, I've spent you know, 20 years organizing around hate. I decided mm -hmm. I'm going to spend the next 20 years organizing around love, around revolutionary love. And when they approached me to say, OK, we, we want to do a portrait to amplify this message. And so I sat for the portrait. I said the words about love. I'm sitting at the kitchen table with my children, and Aaron texts me the first draft of the portrait. And I think I just. I, and this is what I don't know how you did it, but this, it's like my, it's like you captured my entire life's work and my vision in a single image. <laughs> well. I, I, and, and, <laughs> and, and wisdom that has never been part of the story that America tells itself, you know. To, to capture sick wisdom like you did. So I remember I, 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 I said, you know, the Ikum God is important to me. I always wear it at my heart. Mm -hmm. And I just like, just make sure you include the necklace. No, <laughs> you took this and you've created it into a mandala. And the Ik, so this is the Ik mm -hmm. in, in, in Gurmukhi. And the Om God is like the, it's, um, it's the oneness that then this God is like the ever unfolding oneness. So it's like the oneness of humanity, the oneness of the world, that is, that is just truth that we forget. It's as if we can look upon the face of anyone and say, you are a part of me I do not yet know. Yeah. That's the heart, right? That's, yeah. But you went further. To, these are called khandas, and this is a double-edged sword, and one sword represents sovereignty within, and the other sword represents sovereignty without. So it's like the, the, the temporal and the spiritual, the spiritual and the political. Mm -hmm. So you took the oneness, and again, I've never seen this represented, and you had it encircled by the khandas, which is, which is how we experience it, that this, this truth is what we must find the courage to fight for. <laughs> oh, well, that's... To live for and to die for. So I, I, it's a gift to me and my family, but it's also a gift to the Sikh community. Is the Sikh community has always been invisible in, in the story that America tells itself. And it's not just like our pain and our struggle and our sacrifice and our suffering. It's, it's our wisdom, you know, yeah. to have our wisdom be part of movements for social justice on this soil, to say yeah. we have something to offer you. Like, see no stranger, those, those aren't my words. Those are the words that's the message of Guru Nanak. Nako beri nahi bagana. Nako beri nahi bagana. I see no enemy. I see no stranger. Yeah. And I feel like the path that I'm on is trying to take that medicine and, and offer it for a new age, a new time, yeah. and, and by rejecting hierarchies of human value, by building a movement for revolutionary love. The, you know, the moment I started reading a lot of your writing and watching your videos, I, you know, I just felt like we're, we're kindred spirits. And um, mm -hmm. when, I'm making, when I'm making the art, um, I'm thinking about the fact that people are social, they're emotional, and that if you can appeal to their, the, the, their better, the better side of their human nature and their emotions, and you know that they want to feel loved and validated by others, that there's a, you know, there's a tool in art and in music and in all forms of creativity that I think cuts through the ways in which um, language can be mm. weaponized nefariously mm -hmm. and connects on a deeper level, you're great at taking language and, and, and having it get to the heart of things, mm -hmm. but a lot of people use language intentionally to divide people. Yes. So, you know, someone that's so great creatively with language like you are mm -hmm. is the antidote to that, and I'm trying mm -hmm. to be a bit of the antidote to that with, with the visuals. We imagine it as this encounter between an, an artist and an activist, but in hearing you, I'm just seeing how much of the activism is in the art and how much art is in the activism. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's yeah. the Venn di diagram we keep, yeah. we keep pointing to yeah. where, yeah, where, where life, magic, innovation, inspiration, courage, and, and vision can come from. Yes, I could bring the
Revolutionary love is the call of our times. Revolutionary love is when we are brave enough to see no stranger, to look at anyone and think, you are a part of me I do not yet know. So when we flood the streets in our grief and our rage and fight for justice and insist on the humanity of our opponents, we are birthing the world to come, a world that leaves no one behind.